Our big story tonight, a unique view for you of the extent of our flash flood floods. You're looking at drone video of Bethel Township's Lane Crest Apartments. This is on Gerlaw Road earlier this evening, nearly 24 hours after heavy rains triggered serious flooding. The Red Cross tells us about 50 families had to evacuate. And now our Kelly May is live there to start our team coverage tonight. Kelly. Yeah, Jack and Deb, you could see from that video just how far back that flooding goes. And this is the water that's still here tonight. It's gone down even a few feet since we were here earlier today. But for the 100 people that are without their homes tonight, their focus now is on salvaging what they can. Actually, what it looks like, it reminds me of Katrina. For people who live here, reality is setting in. Janice Cumming and her husband came back after being evacuated. They couldn't save a thing. He said, we lost everything. There's nothing left. We have nothing. Crews were called in to remove debris from the flood water so the storm drains can empty the parking lot. It looks more like a lake. This is what the residents are resorting to using to get their stuff back from their apartments. I'm told by one of the fire rescue crews that the water underneath me is about eight feet deep. Brittany Gatz has been kayaking to her front door. She estimates her losses in the tens of thousands of dollars. Fridge is toppled over, floors are floating, like it's a disaster in there. There's, there's so many elderly people that live here that have nowhere to go. Um, fortunately, I have my dad. People are getting help from the Red Cross. A shelter has been set up at the Medway United Methodist Church. The scope is large because of the total devastation. Our first concern was getting them fed and getting, helping them get comfortable. We're here to help. Residents are being told once the water drains, they'll have 24 hours to gather their things. It will be four to six months before they can move back in. That sounds like a lifetime and we just moved in here. I lost it. I mean, that's our home. That's our home. Now for the people who choose to move back in here, the people who own this property say they will not get their security deposit back but will be credited about $500. The people that choose to go will lose their deposit but they will be given $100. Either way, it's going to be a long cleanup and officials tell us they want to have all of this drained by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Live here tonight, Kelly May, Fox 45 News.